What is going on everybody? So we have something new we unboxing today and we talking about and that is the Brooks Glycerin 19 or sorry the Brooks Ghost 16. It reminds me of the Brooks Glycerin 19. That's what I was going to say. Uh, so we're going to unbox it right there. That's what it's looking like. Shout out to Brooks for sending these over. Uh, this is the Black Forged Iron and Blue. So I'm going to pop it out the box. Now, out the box, it kind of reminds me of the Glycerin 19, like I just said, with a little bit of a spin on it. It doesn't really remind me of the Ghost. Um, I mean, I guess the midsole does of the Ghost 15 or 14. No, the 15. I think it's the 15. Um, it kind of reminds me of it in as in ghost fashion it has tons of rubber um but other than that it kind of really remind me of the glycerin 19. i don't know if they de discontinued the 19 and just going this route but it's giving me that feel um not to say that the glycerin 19 is a bad shoe because honestly that's one of my favorite shoes from brooks or by brooks was the 19. And then they started adding the DNA loft to the 20 and the 21. And that's just kind of where it kind of lost me with the glycerin line. Um, but it seems like they're going back to the roots of the, glyc of the glycerin with this new ghost. So with that being said, uh, it has nit nitrogen infused uh, midsole right there, that foam. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. Um, and then you got a small ghost branding right here. Um, neutral cushion shoe. It's a great everyday trainer. The ghost has always been like a good solid everyday trainer. You put tons of miles again. You see all that rubber. So you're going to be able to get a lot of wear and tear out of them. Um, the uppers feel breathable. Again, I haven't ran in this. Um, this is just straight out the box. So it feels breathable. Um, yeah, man, overall, a solid shoe. I would say if I had to rate it straight out the box, my first impressions, I'd give it a solid 7 or 8 out of 10. It ain't necessarily, maybe the, the color is what's doing it. It's not necessarily my favorite um, by the brand, but it's a solid shoe. So if you're looking for a shoe to get a tons of miles in, comfortable, the Ghost is usually typical, typically comfortable. Um, I give it a shot, man. So with that being said, again, shout out to Brooks, shout out to the Running Collective for sending these over, and uh, yeah, man, I can't wait to put some miles on them, even if it's just walking around. We got an update on the training plan. It's a little modification, but uh, nonetheless, solid shoe. Hopefully, y'all have a great day. Y'all here, peace.